There's been plenty of activity at West Bromwich Albion with the whole Peter Odin Wingy transfer saga. Goran Popoff's red card for spitting at the weekend and the team's recent dip in form. Express and Star caught up with Albion legend Cyril Regis to hear his thoughts. You don't know, I mean my caveat would be you don't know what's been said to him in the background. But you don't go on television saying with the air of confidence that the deal's done when it's clearly not done. And I think that's, I mean, he's put the transfer request in, which is that uh, he's tweeted. But the fact that he went on television with the air of confidence still is done. We don't know the background, but if we know in football, in any situation, the deal's not done to the ink's dry. And I think that was his biggest mistake, but going on television uh, saying that the deal's done. So how does Odin Wingy get both teammates and fans back on side? The teammates would just take the mickey out of him, have a bit of banter, you know, tears trips off him, you know, verbally, you know, that's footballers. They might have even done the same thing in their position, so they'll just take the mick. Uh, how the Albion fans uh, react will be interesting. You know, now they know, they've known since the beginning of the season that he doesn't want to be there. But now he's gone public that he's last not a West Brom. Albion football fans love um, uh, love people or any fans not love the player who loves the club. And it's clearly that he doesn't have the club he wants out. Now he must, it's a massive problem for uh, Steve Clark. Has he put it on the bench? Does he start him? But like any fan, whether you, some sympathise with him or against him or support him, it's about his performances. And if he goes on there and scores goals like he did against the Villa in a different situation, you'd hope that the Albion fans who are fantastic will forgive him. But he's got a hurdle to climb, he's got to face the music. And when asked about Popoff's red card, Regis confesses he had something more important to do. I didn't see it, mate. Honestly, I was uh, not off camera. <laughs> But I took my grandchildren to see Life of Pi. Really? I, I couldn't turn, I couldn't turn them down again. You know, <laughs> honestly, I wanted to come there, but I couldn't turn them down. Have you seen the five, a five-year-old granddaughter disappointed? Ah, uh, but back to the football, and what about the team's recent dip in form? The whole thing about the league is consistency over a long period of time, over 38, over over 38 games, and Albion have lost momentum. Uh, the last six, seven games, I don't think they've won one. Drew a couple, I think, and uh, this is a big testing point for Steve Clark. I think when things are going well, it's smooth, it's great. Uh, this is a testing point where things are going badly, his management skills. Uh, and I'm sure, and I'm hoping, because he's been an inspired choice, uh, he plays some great football. Um, this is where his management skills has to come to the fore. And I'm sure he's got mentors he can call on, Mourinho and, and uh, Doug Leach and a few others, say, you know. I'm hitting a bit of a rock now, what do I do, you know, uh, and I hope he turns it around quite quickly.